All right, this is question number five, section 1.2. And uh, we had a bit of an issue with this one. This was a bit tough one. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what happens here. So a wheelchair ramp is being built to rise to a landing that is 2.4 meters above the ground. So I think it's a great idea for you guys to kind of just draw a sketch of the situation. So this is the wheelchair ramp right here, the slanted part. And this would be the 2.4 meters right it even says the word rise so we've got a rise of 2.4 on our little diagram this would be a right triangle right okay so it's 2.4 meters above the ground right there uh, building regulations say that a ramp can have a maximum rise of 2.5 centimeters per 30 centimeters of run okay so this is right here rise over run that's kind of our given slope. That's the slope that we have to match. Okay? So what it's saying is that, and I'm going to draw like a tiny little one. This is super tiny. They say, in order for this to be legal, you have to have a certain slope. And this would be like the example 2.5 centimeters high and 30 centimeters for a run. And this big one, real life one, has to match that slope. So they have to be identical slope. So this is what I would do, okay? The rise that's given is 2.5 centimeters over 30 centimeters, right? That's the, that's the given one. And we are given a rise and asked for the run here, okay? Now, it is important to uh, important to note that we have different units here, don't we? Okay, we have different units, centimeters and meters. So it's probably a a good idea. I mean, maybe it. I mean, for most cases, you're going to get mixed up if you use different units. Okay, so let's try and use the same units. So 2.4 meters. Do you remember how we convert 2.4 meters into centimeters? Anybody remember what the conversion is there? A thousand, not quite. Hey, here's a meter stick. Remember this one? Here's a meter stick. In one meter, there are how many centimeters? A hundred. That's right. There's a hundred centimeters. So guess what? For every meter, we multiply by one hundred centimeters. So that's going to be two, four, zero centimeters. See that? That make sense? So guess what? I'm going to put that two, four, zero centimeters right here. That's because the top is the rise part, right? And the bottom is the run. Good so far? So this was back kind of 1.1 we did these proportions, remember? So this is similar to what we did in, in the previous section. So it says what is the run for this wheelchair ramp? So I'm looking for this. I don't know what this is right here. It's going to be X. So let's solve for x. How do we solve for x? Do you remember how to do that? Yes, cross, multiply, and divide. So we have 2.5 times x. I'm going to drop the. Uh, I'm going to drop the units now, okay? Because I know I'm dealing all. Everybody's in centimeters. Everybody's in centimeters. So I'm going to deal with that. So 2.5x equals what's 240 times 30? You can get on your calculators and do that if you want. Oops. 7,200? Yeah. Oops, 7,200. Okay. So how do I get X all by itself now? I divide both sides by the number that's multiplied by X. So what is 7,200 divided by 2.5? And how about it's 2.8 2,880? Okay, 2,880, is that what you got? Okay, you get that too, or, yeah? Okay, so what is this? That's 2,880 centimeters, isn't it, right? So does that make sense? Does that make sense? We have 240 centimeters high and 2,800 centimeters long. Th look at this one, 2.5 is in ratio to 30. So 240 to 2,800, that, that's pretty... That's reasonable, you see that? That's reasonable. Okay, so that's the centimeters. We could now change that to meters. How do you change centimeters to meters? 
Right, divide by 100, very good. So dividing by 100 moves the decimal place um, back two times. So I guess this ramp has to be 28.8 meters long. Okay, 28.8 meters, so that's A. Um, okay, now now this is an interesting question, and this maybe is where you got stuck, I'm not sure. But this is a tricky part now, B is a tricky part. So it says, how long will the ramp be? So we found this part, this is 28.8, but now it's asking for this part of the ramp, like how long is the actual ramp? So if I have two sides of a right triangle and I want to find the third one, what special theorem do I use? Pythagorean theorem, right. So let's just, I'm going to draw this ramp again a little bit. Okay, so 2.4 and this is 28.8. So I need to find out what this third side is. So Pythagoras' theorem or Pythagorean theorem says this. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, it doesn't matter which one's A and which one's B. If you want to always use the smaller one as A, that's great. But it doesn't really matter. Okay. And so, why don't you guys, uh, why don't you guys take a moment and, and solve for C. Make sure you can solve for C and I'll show the answer in a bit. Okay, so this is what you should get for an answer. 28.9 meters is this hypotenuse right here, 28.9. Now, um, that looks really close to 28.8. Is that is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, when you think about, you know, two meters high, this isn't a scale at all. So if you think about two meters, I mean, you know, if you're talking about, th if this is two units, 28 units is like way over here, right? So the difference between this, and that's not even straight, but the difference between that and this is almost nothing, right? It's only about 10 centimeters or so. That's what that, that's what that, uh, or, um, sorry, 28.8 uh, meters, yeah. So uh, 90 and 80, yeah, 10 centimeters. Okay. So, are we good with that? Any, any questions about that? Was, was number five just A and B? Yeah? Okay, that's how you do number five.